Welcome to another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe for more. In this video, we are looking at the equation of the line. The equation of the line is basically just giving a line a name. That's all it is. We're basically giving the line a name, the equation of the line, which will allow us then to sketch it and to write down information about the line, like its slope or where it crosses the y-axis, things like that. There's a formula in your log tables on page 18, which will help us to form the equation of the line which is written here in the yellow box as y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. You can see from that formula, you need two things. You need the m, which is standing for the slope, and you need a point, one point. All you need to form an equation of a line is one point, x1 and y1. And that's the second thing you need. This x and y will stay in your answer. So to recap, you need a slope, and you need a point, just the one point. Let's look at one example. So in this example, they're asking us to find the equation of the line through the two points, minus three, four, and minus five, two. Like we said up above, uh, to form the equation of a line, we need two things. We need the slope and we need a point. So first thing we need to do is we need to go off and find the slope between those two points, minus three and four. The formula for your slope is m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. There's a separate video if you need to have a look at that that'll explain how to find the slope. Uh, so I'm gonna write down my two points here before I sub them into my formula. My two points are minus three, four, and minus five, minus two. I'm gonna label them x1, y1, x2, y2. Now I'm going to sub them into my slope formula. m is equal to y2, which is negative 2, subtract my y1, which is 4, all over x2, which is negative 5, minus my x1, which is negative 3. So just be careful here that there's a double negative. There's a minus from the formula and a minus from the negative 3. Again, as I said, look at the separate video if you need to go into a little bit more depth on finding the slope. Then we are just going to work that out. So on the top of the fraction, minus 2 minus 4 is negative 6. And on the bottom, minus 5 minus minus 3 is becoming minus 5 plus 3. Which is going to give me uh, minus 6 over minus 5 plus 3 is minus 2. And we'll solve that a little bit further. Minus divided into minus is plus, 2 into 6 is 3. So my slope here is positive 3. So now that we have our slope, we now can find our equation of the line. So if we come back up here now for one second, our equation of the line formula is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. That's the formula that's in your log tables. We need the slope, and the slope is going to be what we just found. So my m is equal to, I'm just writing them down, it's equal to three. And the point I'm using, you can use either of the two points. I'm gonna stick with the one that I labeled as x1, y1. So the points that I'm using is minus three, four. You can use the other point if you want. Uh, I'm going to label that then as my x1, y1. Now I'm going to sub them into my equation of the line formula. So my formula begins with a y minus y1. So the y is part of my formula and so is the minus. I'm subbing in my value for y1, which is 4. That is equal to the slope, which is 3, bracket x minus, once again, is part of the formula. I'm now subbing in my x1. My x1 is negative 3. So just again, watch here that there's a negative in the formula and a negative from the x1 value. So if I work that out, I get y minus 4 is equal to 3 bracket x minus minus. 2 minus has become a plus. And I'm just going to move it up here so I can just make a bit of space here. So I'm just going to rewrite it. y minus 4 is equal to 3 bracket x plus 3. 
Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply in that 3. So when I multiply the 3 into the bracket, I get y minus 4 is equal to 3 times x, which is 3x. 3 times positive 3 is 9. If it doesn't say what order to write equations in, I would always um, move them all to one side and have them equal to 0. So what I'm going to do here now is I'm just going to tidy it up. So I'm going to move this uh, minus 4 over to the right by basically adding 4 to both sides. So again, watch other videos for this, but I'm adding 4 to both sides. So that's giving me uh, 3x plus 9. Or some of you have moved the minus 4 over, it becomes a plus 4. Or you've added 4 to both sides, whatever way you've you learned it. Or then I'm moving the y over. So change the side, change the sign, it becomes a minus y. Or I've subtracted y from both sides. And that is then leaving me with equal to 0. I'm then going to group the positive 9 and the positive 4 together. So that's leaving me with 0 is equal to 3x plus 13, subtract y. Our equations of the line would always begin with the x, followed by the y, so minus y, plus 13. I'm basically just rearranging it here. And if you want, you can put the equal to 0 to the rear of the equation, and that's usually how we would see it. Again, don't get worried there. That's just like me saying that a is equal to 2, 2 is equal to a. It doesn't matter if the a is at the front or at the back. And that's the same here. They're both, it's equal to 0, so it doesn't matter if I put the 0 at the front or the 0 to the rear. So the equation of my line is 3x minus y plus 13. That is the equation of the line. Hope it helps. Check out the other video if you need to see uh, finding the equation of the line where the slope may be a fraction. Thank you for watching another tutorial video from Tullamats. Make sure and subscribe.